Hi, welcome to my short tutorial on teleporting. I'm going to show you two techniques you could use to teleport your avatar on uh, on the game maker. So the first thing we're going to put down is a trigger. Now you can have a button uh, which sends a message when you press E on the uh, on the asset. Um, but for this one, we're going to do detection. So we're going to put on a speaker. We're going to detect the entity. We'll bring the uh, radius down to two and the message uh, when an avatar walks in this circle will be teleport teleport one perfect now we'll go ahead and put down a asset where we want the avatar to teleport to uh, we'll put some blocks down just so we can see we've teleported to a new area and for this one the behavior we're going to use is a asset spawner We'll get rid of the indicator. We'll make it invisible, so turn uh, visible to false. Uh, we'll also make it no collisions, so the player can't walk into it. And we'll make the spawn offset all zero, so it spawns on top of the asset here. Now the asset to spawn will just be another numpad. Now the behavior we're going to use for this example, example number one, is message broadcaster. The tags we're going to use is spawner. Go ahead and copy that. We'll make the message teleport one. So when the avatar walks in here, it will bring out a numpad which has message broadcaster. Um, and then we want to have an ability to kill it. So we're going to put health. Now we'll go to our global parameters controller components here we're going to paste in our spawner because that's where we want the avatar to teleport to now when a message broadcaster comes out its default message is trigger so we're going to use trigger to kill the avatar the health component here um, has a kill a kill death message by default so we're going to make the avatar send a message on death and the message it's going to send is kill. And the tags it's going to send it to is spawner, which is this asset. And now if we go ahead and test that out, when we walk into this area, we die and we teleport here. I forgot to put um, the death timer to minus two. And now we should be able to teleport instantly. There we go. So now we have an infinite infinite teleport. Now the reason it doesn't work again is because we've got the timer set to five and it will only send the message once every five seconds from this speaker. So if we change that to 0 0.5, it means every half a second it resets and we can use it over and over again. As you can see, now the drawbacks is this technique here. You can see the explosion under the feet and you can also just see the nameplate uh, for a split second of the asset that comes from the asset spotter. So that's its weakness. So let's change it so we can teleport like this, but a different technique. So for this one here, uh, the explosion comes from the health component. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of the health component now message broadcast is what we need to send the message uh, to kill the avatar but what we can do here is we'll make it a plant behavior um, okay so that's the plant behavior and it has the tag spawner now we'll go ahead and put down another numpad we'll get rid of the behavior get rid of the indicator and we're going to put a speaker that speaker here is going to detect the entity spawner We'll make it a, a two radius, doesn't have to be too big. Get rid of the text, edit the logic. And what we can do here is we can go to global parameters, controller, components. And if you don't want trigger to be the death message, you can just do uh, kill, kill avatar. Uh, and now that will be our death message. So once this spawner detects the tag that comes out of here, it's gonna send the message to kill the avatar. So the avatar dies 
uh, and it will teleport on top of this plant which has the tag spawner and then it will kill the plant because um, the message it sends its kill to the spawner and the default message to kill a plant is kill. So if we go ahead and make this one invincible, uh, invisible, sorry, and no collisions, we'll go ahead and test it out. You can see now we're being teleported. You can just put this just underground so you can't see any asset at all. So when we walk to here, it's a clean teleport. Now the reason this is not working again is because this is a speaker and we forgot to change this message to from 5 to 0 0.5. So we want this to send a message pretty much straight away again. You can even do 0 0.1 if you have any doubts um, and that's fine. And now it will be able to send more the message more than once every 5 seconds. And you can see flawless. And all you need to do now is, if you want duplications of your teleport, um, you can just put another one here. We go ahead and duplicate this, bring this over here. And instead of this detecting that entity and sending teleport one, you can do teleport.2. And then you just go ahead and duplicate this. And instead of teleport one, it will be teleport, teleport two. And this one here doesn't need any changes, I don't think. It just detects the tag. And that should be, that should be right. So this will go teleport one. And this one will go teleport two. And you can do that as many times as you want, alternating in between. Cool. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. If you have any questions, just send me a message. Have a great day.